What's up, fishies? Welcome back to So Special for another monthly report, specifically for April. Hope you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and get started. But before I do, I want to thank everyone who supported So Special Station on the last post, whether you are a subscriber or a viewer. Also, uh, whenever you hear this sound, if you have not already complied, please oblige. Please, please support, support, support. Thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and get started with some things that make you go, hmm, for sun, moon, rising, and on the cusp of everybody as well and enjoying um, spring. It's time to live again. All right. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with Pisces suns. Things that make you go, hmm. Things you would like to ask Siri. Things you would like to ask Siri. That's a good one. <laughs> You're probably going to be doing that this week, okay, or this month. Uh, for the moon, things you like to keep close by, okay, I'm here in Medea. <laughs> All right, things you would like to keep close by. I'm hearing that drink. <laughs> Keys. Keys. All right. For ascendant or those on the rise in Pisces, things you wish were already finished. <laughs> Thank you, Source. I'm so glad we get some different ones. I don't know what to do. So y'all cycle must be clearing up and changing because we're getting some different cards. Okay. And for those on the cusp, oh, this was the same as Scorpio in on the cusp. Well, you couldn't just be sharing the same. I don't know. You may be a cusp in some other area, like uh, the cusp of Pisces or, I don't know, the cusp of the Ascendant. I don't know. Things that are icky. Icky, 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 icky. I had the same response in theirs. Let's see what uh, planets are aligned for you for the month of April. Okay, we're going to do three cards. Uh, for those of you who are Sun Pisces, 60 is your number. For the moon, 106. Okay, 106. 73 for ascendant on the rise and 37 things that are icky. It's funny you got 37. I equate that a lot to a, a, a complete family. Now, for those on the rise, it's in reverse. Your family may, it's just funny, it said things you wish were already finished. Maybe your family is not complete. Maybe you're young and you're just freshly married and you're building a family, okay? Maybe you wish you done already had all these children that your husband wanted or something. I don't know. Maybe it's got something to do with the work, okay? Um, 106, we got a lot of things you wish was kept close by. We definitely have a lot of completion. Whatever it is, it's uh, significant to you. You care about it. You love it. You know, and you feel secure with it there. 60. Okay. Uh, no, it's not a limitation. But um, I think that this is dealing with things that of your interest. And, and it may be um, your interest may it may be pertaining to things that are domestic, but more than likely later in age, like close to uh, retirement stage. Okay, so let's see what's going on planetary wise. We're gonna get some more numbers. So you're all about the numbers this month. I see that it's all about the numbers. Should I forget to give? Um, there, uh, I don't know. Cancer may be important to you. I forgot to give them there. I guess they didn't need it. If I didn't give it to you, the source said no. But they didn't get no planetary. You got two, three, one, two, thirty-one. Okay, two, thirty-one, two, thirty-one, two, thirty-one. I was just going to get ready to say that I definitely see a mutual attraction in these numbers. And there it is with Venus, the first number out, 231. Okay, I don't know if you can see these from here. All right. Um, now, it's, it's whatever's going on with these numbers, it's something you definitely have to work towards. It's not given to you. 
if it's a relationship, you're going to have to work in the relationship. You're going to have to identify things that are compatible and things that are not and come up with alternatives to making it work. Also, it may require something specific to keep you together because you have different interests, right? But what is that one thing that makes you um, whole? So I may be talking to moon signs that makes you whole, that makes you complete, that makes you want to stay together. It could be a business idea, you know what I'm saying? Those are your children, your ideas, your projects, things you create. Those are your children, okay? And I see and feel that it's a great pairing, okay, a great partnership. But I really feel like it, it comes, it's your life path for one. I see things are going to be jumping for you this month too. Things going to be popping, things going to be popping, things going to be jumping for you. It's a lot of excitement, air, beneficial things are happening for you, joyful things are happening for you. Just, you know, um, definitely uh, for some of you, there is romance here, but it's coming through work. Okay, and there's some major plans that you're going to be talking about. I feel like for some of you, this is new. It's going to pop off. You you probably going to be feeling like you knew each other all your life. It's just going to pop off. Okay, but take your time. Don't try to rush anything. Even if you feel like you've known each other forever, you still don't know each other. You getting to know each other. So take some time to court each other and find out what each other want. I, I matter of fact, I'm gonna give you this story. This is what's coming to mind. I was a young, I was a little girl then. But there was my favorite couple back in the day in the church. And I can remember, uh, cause I was so close to her. She was like my big sister. We shared kind of like the same family name. And um, when her and him met, they liked each other and everything. And then, you know, cause we would hear mama talking. <laughs> And she was saying how uh, they got together and they decided that to try to see what they really wanted. If this is what they really wanted, they kind of opened up, you know, to, you know, you know, open relationship to see, you know, to test the waters to see if this really where they wanted to be. Uh, so they courted each other. OK, so no, no real, you know, lockdowns or anything. But needless to say, after some time, they did end up married. And that's the thing that I'm wishing we could get back to those. I'm finding that that stuff that the ancestors, you know, and them that put in place for us, I'm finding that to be really beneficial. Uh, because, you know, you don't know who you bringing home no more. You got to be careful, you know. You come home, your husband laying up with your child. You know, or you whether it's up now, you ain't got to worry about the daughter no more. You may be laying up with your son. I mean, it's just so you know what I'm saying. Court, get to know the family. We got to get back to those traditional values where we can feel, have some sense of safety and security within the family, especially if you got money. Because that's where the problem lies. Okay, and with Venus here. It's, there could definitely be abundance here, but it's definitely a lot of good feeling, an abundance of good feelings uh, overall for the month of April. I don't know why you got that message, but maybe you need it. Damn, and look what you got as your oracle message. Ain't no loving good enough to get burnt while I'm up in it. The famous lyrics of Snoop Dogg. Because ain't no loving good enough to get burnt while I'm up in it. Yeah, and that's really the real deal holy feel. Okay, let's see what that underlining is. Ooh, damn, pedophilia. Didn't we just talk about that? The fuck? See what I'm saying? You women who already have a ready-made family? We just talked about that. But for others, uh, this pedo, because you got petty, petty, pedo. Pedal, pedal. This is pedal. It deals. Pedal deals with the soil. Okay. 
um, that could be a strong or an abnormal attraction to something. You know, like it, it, when I say abnormal, it could be so strong. You're like, oh my God, this is not normal. I've, I've had feelings before, but this is different. Okay. And then again, maybe it is abnormal. Maybe you haven't feelings for somebody you should be having feelings for. You know what I'm saying? I don't think no 40-year-old man should be having no feelings for no 12-year-old girl. You know? And if he does, check it until she's old enough. That's, that's all I'm saying. Check it until she's old enough. Or if you're living in a culture, make sure you go get permission. Okay, motherfucker? Don't take it on your own hands. To be doing shit. Because I'm not going to judge you because you have feelings. You can't help that. But you can control it. That's what I'm talking about. Controlling it. I don't know why you get this message. What? I was all in the straight humor of life. God, what's going on so it's with, with the survivors? Oh, so I'm a sub Okay, survival. All the survivors of the zodiac, okay? Y'all know during creation everything was destroyed but the fish. That's one reason why Christians like that symbol of the fish. So I imagine fish know a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? They know stuff we would never know. You know, it's stuff down at the bottom floors of the ocean that they say you cannot get to it. It's that deep. It's very dangerous. Your ass ain't gonna come back. <laughs> All right, you got the Ace of Wands and the Hermit with the Moon, the Eight of Cups with the Sun, and you got a victory here after some. You've been through some 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 treacherous waters. You've been through the dark night of the soul. You've been through a lot of uncertainty. You've been through the howling. Some of you literally howl at the moon, and I understand. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like a cry to the great mother. Okay. But you're gonna discover something that you really like, or you're gonna. Uh, Unbeknownst to you, you're going to uncover some information where you get this approval this month after you've walked away from something, okay? You've been on a journey as well, an emotional journey, okay? Um, some of you are wrestling with sweets. I see you seeing some stuff you like. That you're supposed to be, that you uh, trying to walk away from. Number eight grams of sugar. I don't know if you're measuring that. Your eight grams of sugar. I don't know if that's per day, per week. I don't know. Eight grams of sugar. Okay. But whatever you walked away from, this is work, money, and romance because the moon definitely deals with romance. You know. Uh, we was talking about feeling iffy and uncertain. And uh, for some of you, some of this has to do with your life path. Okay? Education is the key. Okay? Yes, education is the key. So some of this has to do with requirements. Okay? You may find something you like, but the requirements is... Uh, it's going to lead you to walking away from something before you find something that fits. Good news in the end, okay? The sun is coming out tomorrow. You're going to find what's exactly for you that's going to make you happy. I love this alignment because even when you look up at the sky, if a lot of times you'll notice the moon is facing the sun. It's like the mother is just always watching her baby. She takes so much pride in her baby. I don't know why I have to point that out to you, uh, but you may recognize that this a month, but this alignment is about, for as I'm concerned, is something about nurturing and caring. Okay, it could be in regards to your work, your financial issues, romance, you know, your family. But your dark days is turning to light days because there's a type of breakthrough here. Okay. 
but it's all based on research study or you're going to uncover an email or a letter or something maybe you the reason why it's in this right here because i don't really think you were looking for it per se you were it's kind of okay let me see because let me phrase it it's kind of like you happen to be going through your emails and there it was it, you uncovered it for some of you, she's telling me it, 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 you could have had communication about it, not knowing where this is, this document, this information. It's in your spam. And I'm hearing sent. It was sent. It was sent. Okay? Some of you can be very excited about making the right choice of walking away from something whatever it's regarding whether it's your diet whether it's a romance a job okay uh there's definitely victory here and um uh what's the word i'm looking for recognition okay some of you honor okay some of you um she's saying the lift But if, whether this is you or someone else, this person is very recognizable, maybe even popular. Uh, they could be popular and not really know how popular they are. The energy I'm getting from this person here, they, they are oblivious to their popularity. They're oblivious to their popularity. It's like a lot of people know this person, but I don't think they know. And I'm seeing crowds, like crowds around this people, this person. This could be you or someone else. It's just like you're going from some sad news to some good news. It, that's just like God. Yeah, because I see it's angelic. It's progress here. There's some progress here, okay? In the morning, okay? In the morning. That's progress in the morning. Some of you, whatever this is, is going to make you cry, you know, but then you're going to realize the good in it. happy picture in the end freedom joy gladness you know like you're in your sun you are a shining light you're in your sun like you are who people look up to you know people cheering you on you know what I'm saying you're a victor I don't know what it's coming from I don't know if it's coming out of love this a strong attraction to your career, to your to your project, to your baby. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting this, but for some of you, menopause got something to do with this reading, this forecast this month. Ain't no loving good enough to give birth while I'm up in it. I don't care what that's in reference to. It could be friendship, family, business, whatever. It, 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 I'm not going to get burnt up in it. You know, like I'm saying, like we was talking about their relationships. You know, it, it, your intuition be letting you know shit. You got to be listening to that. And, and you got to know how to ask questions. Find out. You know what the person is like his past or her past experience approved 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 let's find out why so i keep feeling like it's something else i want to get out of here but let's find out why the eight of cups is here with the hermit 
because something was definitely uncovered. Something's definitely been found. Some, some type of knowledge is causing you to walk away. Like I said, it could even be dealing with your diet because knowledge is power. And it could make you sad at first, but you see the good in it. You know, this is health. You know what I'm saying? This is vibrancy. This is being alive. Did y'all know that that's what hey really meant? Hey really mean live. That's really the, the etymology behind hey is live. When we say, hey, how you doing? I'm telling you to live. <laughs> When are you getting this message, survivors? I don't know. I did this. It's really different. Intuitive messages. Okay. So you got the Ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant in reverse. They walked away because they found out something that had to do with money, lifestyle, legacy. This may even do deal with insurance, stocks, bonds, because uh, there it is discharge uh, uh, cancellation uh, for somebody whatever this is you have to walk away because it's, it's just too expensive you you can't join because you don't have the income but it's got something to do with lifestyle it's got something to do with your work your stocks your 401ks, your legacies, your what you leave, your benef your benefits. Some of you, you walking away from something because it, it, it's the it's the it's an affluent area, okay? It's more of a higher upgrade, maybe than you can afford. It's like for some of y'all, you have to be rich to join. You have to be rich to join. I don't know what this is or to be in this family. You have to be rich to get married. There's confusion and sadness behind somebody leaving based on what they found, what was uncovered, or what, what's learned. And it's like, shh. I ain't no loving good enough to get burned while I'm up in it, okay? Ain't no loving good enough to get burned while I'm up in it. I'm just not getting ready to do it. But ambition, okay? Brings you some type of ambition, some type of communication, whether it's written or spoken, some type of communication brings you light at the end of the tunnel, okay? For some of you, you're going to be free. It's definitely based on freedom. You free, and you feel good. You feel good. Free to communicate. Free to plan. Free to do what you do. And everything's all right. Okay. Some of y'all going to get some romance after walking away from something. You know. Or learning something that may have to do with relationships. Maybe you are studying the past, okay? Because maybe you want a certain type of family. Maybe you want to uh, create and condition your family to be more royal-like, like in the past, and that's fine. You want a different culture for your family. You want your family to uh, be affluent. You know what I'm saying? This is like you can't get in, or you have to readmit yourself, okay? This is, can I get in? Because <laughs> you out. Okay. Okay. So there's also something here about first place. Whatever that is, I'll give it to you, but I'm going to sum it up for now. Okay. Y'all got a lot of good corners for the month of April. Okay. You get your um, participation in. We could get more cards out and find out where a lot of other stuff is coming from. But we definitely know uh, lifestyle, uh, affluence, you know, benef benefits, 
whatever that is, whatever wherever your money is stacking and storing and and growing, drawing interest is involved here. Definitely uh, some type of love in the card. Okay. Because it's like somebody walking away from one thing for something better. Something that's going to make you happy or something that's going to make you feel alive. It's, just a, it's like a resounding yes. I don't know if you found it. You know, you got what you, you know what to do now. You got the knowledge where you can get approved. I don't know, but it's like, yes. It's like you're going straight from tears to smiles. Humble gets no respect. And maybe that's why you're walking away. Humble gets no respect from clips. This to be my group. Grinding. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. <laughs> this your underlying. <laughs> Y'all crazy me up. So I told you somebody's elected. You know, they probably don't even want to do this person. Look like they don't even want to be bothered. Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Why am I getting all this attention? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white man, we all want to help one another. And those are the words from the great Charlie Chaplin. And I'm going to leave it here for you Pisces to ponder until the next one. Peace and one love.